The week that we had been counting down to all year continues here at the Stafford Motor Speedway after beginning last Thursday night with season three, race one for the Superstar Racing Experience in Bonsatufa because of the flooding up north at Thunder Road, which was supposed to be race number two. Uh, officials decided it best to stay here for another week. And our thoughts are with those in Vermont. Terrible situation with the storms, the flooding. It's really unfortunate for those guys because of all of that. It comes here take two, round number two, and after round number one, Kyle, every single car here in the pits had to get some sort of touch-up on it. Since Saturday morning, the crews have been here, for the most part, nonstop, and that includes in that torrential rain that we had all yes. day on Saturday. They worked in about six inches of water back here in the pit area, but they had a lot of work to do because of all the contact that was had on the racetrack on Thursday night, probably the roughest SRX race that we have seen so far. I mean, even in the heat race, they were going three wide, banging doors, banging bumpers. We saw Ken Schrader go for a spin. We saw Keselowski go through the grass. We saw Tony Kanaan's hood fly off. We saw so much in just the heat. It was more of the same in the feature, but in the end, the guy that I feel like impressed the most early on, Denny Hamlin, he got adapted to the track real quick, and that was key because he came home with the win, albeit rain shortened. Became the newest Stafford winner here, and you mentioned Denny Hamlin, a new Stafford winner. We might have another one Thursday night because there's a lot of new faces in the field. Well, Denny Hamlin's car, which apparently was won with Doug Kobe in 2021 in the inaugural SRX event, now it will be driven by Daniel Suarez. So we'll see what Suarez can do in that car because I guess that car is pretty good if it's won twice so far in the last couple races. You got Kevin Harvick's car now being driven by Kenny Wallace. And oh boy, <laughs> wait till Kenny Wallace gets here at Stafford Speedway. It's going to be a hoot. He's a personality. And if you follow him on social media, you know what I mean. We also got Greg Biffle coming back. Third time he's be ra he'll be racing here. He's driving Clint Boyer's car. And Clint Boyer finished second last week as well. He was pretty fast in that blue machine. So we'll see how those guys do. It's going to be interesting, but I think for the local flavor, the most interesting aspect is who will be in the 13th car. And that's uh, going to be Ryan Priest, former track champion here at the Speedway, a 37-time winner around the Stafford Half Mile. And I know when that announcement was made last week during the event with Ryan in in present down on the front the front straightaway uh, being interviewed by our Dave Barabalt uh, the crowd went nuts oh my gosh the ovation was loud all the drivers during intros got ovations but I think Priest might have superseded them all I mean that was a raucous crowd a great crowd and I think it's gonna be more of the same this week with Ryan Priest he knows there's a bit of pressure for him because Doug Kobe fellow modified rival for so many years he won the first event here at Stafford and for Priest and Kobe they love to one-up each other, I guess yeah, you could do. say, online. So we'll see if Priest can match Kobe at least this upcoming week and go to victory lane. A lot of people believe, because of all the experience at the track he has, Priest can get it done. Those are just some of the storylines. 13 of them will take the green flag here on Thursday night, 9 o'clock. And if you can't be here, of course, it'll be live on ESPN. Tickets, however, remain available for this event on Thursday night here in the grandstands, which will be opened by the SK Light Modifieds, our very own that race here weekly. Oh, I'm excited for that one. 30 laps, non-points event, but $1,500 to win. Every week we've been getting at least 30 cars in a feature. We'll see what those guys and gals have in store because the racing this year for them have been phenomenal. We've seen photo finishes. We've seen bump and runs. We've seen Nerf bar banging. We've seen side-by-side -side action. We've even seen three-by-three-by-three -by -three -by -three action. So it's going to be fun, and I think the fans are going to be very entertained ahead of time with the SRX feature by watching the SK Light Modifieds in action. A division that races like a super speedway yes. here on our very own Stafford Half Mile. They'll open the event at uh, 7 o'clock feature time. They'll qualify and, and do some group qualifying at 6.30. Going to be a great day for racing. We do want to give kudos, though, to Keith Rocco while we're here. Yes. Although they're not running this week, they're uh, going to race on Friday night, yep. uh, not in competition on Thursday. Uh, two in a row for Keith Rocco and that Dan Avery team last week. I think the field's got to watch out now because Keith is starting to get hot. 80 career wins at Stafford. Only four drivers now have done it, and three of those are still racing at Stafford to this day. Keith Rocco, 80 wins. Tom Fern, 81. Woody Pickett, 82. So that's a, that's a fun little battle to keep track of during the season. But whatever that 22 team has figured out, it's come through big time. Going back to back in victory lane, it's hard to win one SK Modified race. It's hard to win multiple in a season, but to win two in a row, 
we got to keep an eye on see if Rocco can make it three in a row come this Friday. Friday night, SK Modifieds will be joined by all five of our weekly divisions, including the SK Light Modifieds, and it's their turn to pull double duty this week as they race on both Thursday and Friday. And like always, if you can't be here, you can tune us in on Flow Racing both nights, except for the SRX race when we go to ESPN.